got a tailgate for Tigers, Clemson versus Furman. We don't know how many Furman fans are going to be here. So we're going to head and interview Clemson fans about what they think about different things having the off season and oh my god. What are you trying to do? Kill all the sea turtles? Come on! Man, it is hot out here. I don't know who thought 12 o'clock noon kickoff games are a good time in the deep south, but this should be a night game against Furman. I always enjoyed watching the balloons go up, but like many folks, I always wondered where are they coming down. Gonna go around and interview people at halftime of the day's game, but first, I'm gonna check out watching the Tigers run down the hill to see if one of the newest Tiger fans uh, misses a balloon release. You know, how do y'all feel about the balloon situation? No more balloons at Clemson. Y'all see it or? I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. This is no more balloons? This is no tradition. You got to keep it. Right. So you like killing sea turtles, Zach? I mean, tradition never fails. I don't like things now compared to the way they used to be. In my day, there was only one show in town, and it was called Stare at the Sun. <laughs> That's right. You'd sit in the middle of an open field and stare up at the sun till your eyeballs burst into flames. Gummit, this guy here. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I mean, it is tradition, but I don't want to kill sea turtles. Okay. <laughs> All the environmental things. Yeah, yeah. It could be a problem. I think we should find something different. Smoke. I mean, cool. fireworks. Yeah, More yeah. fireworks. Or what? It's a good idea, man. Look at your spirit right <laughs> here. Spirit. Woo. Right. We raised eighteen thousand dollars for Special Olympics two years. Awesome. For me to wear this. Today. That's great. And that's why I started wearing it. Cool. You wear it every game, or? Uh, I wasn't gonna put it on today. It's too hot. <laughs> well, my daughter made me go put it on. <laughs> It's, it's messed up. Okay. No, no, I, got it. I understand it, but like. I'm kind of torn on the issue. I, I really miss the balloons. I hope yeah. they can do something to replace it. So uh, replace them? Yeah, we, we need something. We don't have a TV, but we got a Yeti. My take on the balloons is I accept it. Okay. Um, I do kind of miss it, but then I do remember when I was a student here, we didn't do balloons for every single game. It was right. only for certain special games like night games. So okay. I understand, and I even talked to my wife. I was like, you know, at this point, you know, for conservation purposes. Tradition is tradition. Do y'all do the woohoo? All right, y'all do the woohoo, and y'all are going to keep the balloon. Tailgame for Tigers. Go Tigers! I think homecoming, you've got to retain the balloons. Okay. I'm a tree hugging Republican. So okay. I, I love, I love the, I appreciate the gesture. Yeah. But I hate the loss of the tradition. Right. No <laughs> balloons. We gotta have a lot more fireworks. More fireworks as well. Peter back there definitely does not weigh him. Uh-oh. He doesn't bother us. Okay. Didn't miss him today. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. And the other we get to see him run down the hill. Ban the woohoo. Ban the woohoo and the balloons. All right. The uh, balloon release. Yeah. Oh. Are y'all cool with it? Y'all understand? We're cool with it. We like it. I'm cool with we it. We say, yeah. I say turn But I am not in favor of the smoke that they uh, that they talked about doing because Carolina and other schools do that. We're not We're not mm -hmm. in favor of that. Miami and them too. I want right. one we're not in favor of that. Just one big balloon. I'm not that worried about it. Good idea. Oh, I absolutely missed it. Yeah. That was some of my first remote uh, traditions yeah. here at Clemson. Okay. It's been on such a spirit blown up. I completely understand why. It's, uh, it's something you want to see, but we understand why we can't. I absolutely would. I heard I'm it. Proud. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you woohoo, sir? No, sir. Oh. You woohoo or not? You do the woohoo? Uh, I do. So okay. I used to. Um, I wasn't in the uh, the, the Clemson uh, uh, marching band, but I okay. did do the orchestra and I did basketball. Oh wow! I'm like the cheerleader for my section. I let everyone know, hey, it's, it's time to you know to get going. Uh, I miss it. I know it's uh, to protect the turtles, but uh, I'm not sure there are many turtles around here. As long as it helps the environment, we're about it. Awesome. You know, we uh, we up here watching Clemson. You know, we having a, we we having a time for our lives. So I wasn't privy to it until we were walking in the stadium, the stadium today, and I was definitely like looking forward to capturing that. And then I heard the reason it behind it, environmental friendly, and I can understand that change. Right. I miss the balloon so much. I feel like I just hyped everyone up. It was I such a special tradition. So much. Everyone smiled. It's on the geo tag on Snapchat. So, so it yeah, has, it has to, to be. be. Someday was my first time in the student section, like as a student. Yes, us through. Woohooed hard. It was so fun. Okay. So 
country music, I've been doing it for actually one year. Okay. And like randomly, the, the, the relationship to it is definitely Clemson related. Nice. In 1998, I came to Clemson, right? Okay. And I was randomly paired with Lee Bryce. <laughs> okay. Who actually is a mega star. Yeah. In the country music industry. Right. We were roommates, and that was before he even had complete aspirations for country music. All right. But here we are right now, and both of us, I would say both of us, but he's already there. I'm trying to do what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, Clemson fam will get behind you support you on yeah, that, so please, yeah. check the link sure. below. Bush, the the same time, time. No. They do impact the environment. No, I feel no. like I mean, they do, but I honestly, like it's a... It's All right, we couldn't quite get a consensus at the game. Thought a good person's perspective would get would be a Clemson farmer. Uh, Jeb, I want to ask you about the balloon issue, your thoughts on it. I think at the end of the day, it's going to be an okay decision to discontinue releasing them. I mean, we'll miss it. It's pretty cool to see. But, you know, as a farmer, I consider myself a conservationist. We've been farming on the same farm for, you know, 100 years. And if we didn't take good uh, care of our land and make good decisions that benefit it long term, we might not still have the land to use. So I think Clemson did a lot of studies, a lot of research into this. I don't think yeah. it was just a knee-jerk reaction. I don't think it was necessarily pressure from outside sources so much. I think they researched it, saw that it was genuinely, you know, doing some damage to some parts of the environment. I mean, it's obviously a lot of trash you're releasing into the air. So, in the long run, it'll be a good move. We have so many great traditions at Clemson. It's not like losing the balloon release will devastate our football team or anything. That's true. You don't consider yourself a snowflake for that stance? I, I, I don't consider myself a snowflake at all. And some people, I mean, they didn't like it when they brought the Ford Pass to football. I have my opinion on the balloon decision. I'm going to make it with a demonstration. I feel like using something once and sometimes for literally under five minutes and then it go into a land field where it's going to take 300 to a thousand years to become reusable again making toxic uh, waste byproducts in the process that just that cannot be a smart system that's good for humanity this is not a political thing at all it's just common sense you know i think about my grandmother who reused absolutely everything she grew up during the great depression era and she always had reusable glasses plates even things like plastic Tupperware, uh, plastic Cool Whip containers or margarine containers, hey, those became take-home boxes or Tupperware containers in the refrigerator. So I think, I, I just really believe if we have these positive uh, common sense solutions to things to identify problems like using something once and throwing it away or throwing it at people like Gamecocks do, and then it goes to places like Bishopville where it makes a huge mountain of waste and smell. Folks in Bishopville don't like that. I believe if you identify the problem, solutions are there. Look at what Clemson's Tigers for Tigers group has done to help rally the call. Our numbers of tigers have increased from around 3,200 up to around uh, 3,900 now. First increase in forever, thanks to the efforts of folks taking active measures. And like grandma would say, uh, what's that saying? Uh, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. That's coming from the generation that grew up in the Great Depression. We can all learn something from that. This is the only time period in history that's been this wasteful, and it's time to do better using our intelligence, our abilities, our God-given gifts to make the world as beautiful and great as possible for future Tigers and generations of Tiger fans onward, outward, and upward. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to us. Check the uh, subscribe button below. Share this. One big balloon. One big balloon. Yeah, you go retrieve it and bring it back. To you the that's next right.